In this video, I will show you how to import fonts into CapCut PC. If you do have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial, feel free to drop that down in the comment section down below the video. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually get hold of your font. Now, a good website for this is dafont.com, and there's a ton of different fonts you can download from here. So what we're going to do is just take this one for example. You want to find the font and then press the download button to download this onto your PC. Then what you want to do is go ahead and open up the font folder, just like so. And what you want to do is install this onto your PC. So you want to double click onto the file and you're going to see an install button. Just go ahead and click install to install the font onto your PC. Now at this point, if you do have CapCut currently open, you're going to want to go ahead and just completely close this down just whilst the font installs on your PC. Then what you can do is go ahead and relaunch CapCut on your PC. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and open up my project on CapCut. Then all you need to do is come up to the top. You're going to see the text button just up here in the top left hand corner. Click onto that. Then what you want to do is double click to add some default text. Then what you want to do is make sure you've selected the text from the timeline down at the bottom. Then what you need to do is come over to the right hand side and you're going to see the font box here. So if you actually click onto this and what you're going to want to do is scroll down. So the font we installed was called Narnia. So you can scroll down the list or you can just use the search box at the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and type Narnia into the search box. Then press enter. As you can see, our font is here as we've installed it. And that is basically it. That is how to add your own custom font into CapCut PC. So with that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.